everyone, it's Carrie, your tushy enthusiast, and today we are talking about poop. Not cleaning up after you poop with a tushy bidet, but actually poop itself. And before you stop the video because you think this is gross, I challenge you by saying we should want to know about our poop because it's a huge indicator of our health and your body is trying to tell you something. Warning, I will be showing you cute little illustrations of poops. Don't worry, I will not be showing you real photos of poop because it's chill to look at your own poop, but it's not chill to look at other people's poops. Yay, let's talk poop. The first thing I'm gonna cover is poop color. So let me ask you a question. What color do you think normal healthy poop is? Ding, ding, ding. If you said brown, you're moving on to the next round. Healthy poop is supposed to be brown. Normal poop is brown because of a substance called bilirubin. Bilirubin is something that is found in your bile and whenever you poop, it's excreted into the poop. Bilirubin is made in the liver when it breaks down your old red blood cells, which gives it the brown color and that's why your poop is brown. It's because of the bilirubin. Now let's move on to some of the other poop colors. White poop. If you have white poop, this is not normal. And it could be like white to grayish to clayish color. If you see this type of poop, you should probably consult a doctor because this may mean that your bile ducts are blocked and bilirubin is not being excreted in your feces and that's why your poop is not brown. Black poop. Black poop, it depends. So black poop can be a result of the food that you ate. So if you had licorice, or if you had iron supplements, or if you took something like Pepto-Bismol, your poop could be black. But if you know that you had black poop and you also did not intake any of those things that I just listed, then this could mean that you have bleeding in your upper GI. And so if you do have consistent black poop, then you definitely should go see a doctor as well, especially if you haven't had any of the black poop inducing foods. Green poop is generally pretty normal. Usually poop has a little bit tint of green anyway, but if your poop is super green, relax. It could probably mean that you just had a ton of spinach or other very green leafy vegetables that just have a ton of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what gives veggies their green color. And so if you eat a lot of green veggies, your poop is probably gonna be super green. Just like our plant spike. Isn't he a funny looking little thing? I got him a year ago. He's only grown this much. <laughs> but if you haven't had any green veggies and your poop is still green, this could mean that your food is just passing through your GI system too fast and it didn't pick up much of the bilirubin that makes your poop brown. Moving on, red poop. So much like the other types of colored poops, it can depend on a lot of what you eat. And so if you had a lot of beets, cranberries, tomatoes, then your poop may have a red tinted color. However, uh, if you did not have any of those foods and you see red poop, this could mean blood. And it's really clear when it's bloody poops. So if you know that you have not eaten any of these red poop inducing foods and you still see red in your poop, this could mean that you have bloody stool or blood in your poop. So blood in your poop could be caused by a couple of things. It could be a hemorrhoid that's bleeding or it could just be bleeding in your lower GI. Hemorrhoids, usually heal on their own after a period of time. And so that's not you know, a huge thing to worry about. However, if you do see your bloody poops persist, definitely see a doctor because this could mean that you have bleeding in your lower GI. Colonoscopy. I got one, you should too. Last poop color, yellow, like my pants. If you see yellow poop, uh, often associated with a smellier poop or like greasier poop. This means that you've eaten too much fat. So just like if you've eaten a lot of butter, you would expect that your poop could look a lot like butter. If you know that you haven't been eating a lot of fat and your poop is still yellow, this could mean you have some kind of malabsorption disorder like celiac disease because none of the fats are actually being absorbed in your body and they're just being excreted right into your poop. So if you do see this, definitely consult a doctor. Now that you know what the color of your poop could mean for your body, it's time to move on to shape and consistency. So there's this thing called the Bristol stool chart and it tells us what it could mean for our bodies and our health based on the shape and consistency of our poop. The first type of poop are hard little lumps that are separated and kind of look like nuts. 
and that are really hard to pass. They're kind of like rabbit poops or little goat poops. If you have these types of little lumpy poops, this means that you are severely constipated. And so when you're constipated, you need to be drinking a lot more water, eating foods that are high in fiber, and making sure that you're exercising and that you're moving your bowels along. Also to prevent constipation, when you feel the urge to go, you should go. Because if you hold your poop too often, you could actually train your body to be constipated. The second type of poop is a log-shaped poop that is super lumpy. This also means that you're constipated, and so, you know, whatever I just said before about constipation, do that. You're making the third type of poop when your poop is smooth log-shaped, or kind of like a hot dog shape with just a few cracks in it. If you see this type of poop, great job, body, because this is totally normal and it means you're drinking enough water and you're eating enough fiber. And the fourth type of poop is a soft and snake-like kind of poop. And so this type of poop is also super normal. The fifth type of poop based on the Bristol stool chart are poops that look like soft blobs with clear identifiable edges, meaning that it's not fully watery yet. So if you are experiencing this type of poop, then that means you're not getting enough fiber. The sixth type of stool is soft poop with fluffy edges versus the identifiable edges in type five. So if you have soft poop with fluffy edges, this means that you have mild diarrhea. Type seven, this is the type of poop where it's completely runny and there's no solid pieces. This, my friend, means you got the runs, you got full-blown diarrhea. So those are the seven types of poops based on the Bristol stool chart. A couple other things I wanna cover about poop, frequency. It's normal to poop every day, every two days, or every three days. So if you are going longer without pooping, then this could mean that you are chronically constipated. So make sure that you're drinking your water, you're taking fiber or eating fiber, and you're getting regular exercise so you can move things along. And also, um, there's a lot of us that suffer from GI disorders, and this can range just from constipation, hemorrhoids, anal fissures, Crohn's disease, or colitis, and all of these different types of GI disorders affects how we poop. The shape, the color, the size, and you know everything that we just covered. So if you are one of those that are affected by GI disorders, at Tushy we've created a lot of products that help us poop better and help make our buttholes feel better. This is the Tushy ottoman this ottoman is made for the optimal pooping posture so that you can have fuller eliminations without straining and so whenever you put your legs up this helps you have better poops and this is the tushy bidet it is an attachable bidet that goes right in between your toilet tank and your toilet seat and it washes your booty with a gentle stream of fresh water after every single time you poop without any irritation and I almost forgot did you see my shirt that actually says cutting rope which aka means you're pooping if you want a shirt just like mine you can go to hellotushy.com forward slash vlog and get your very own and that's all for today so if you have any more questions about our tushy products or about poop please leave them in the comments and if you did learn something from this video please give it a thumbs up and hit our subscribe button because every single week we post videos about poop health butt health tushy products and everything in between the cheeks happy pooping